back to some Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, it's gonna be a very chill epi uh, episode. Very chill video today. Nothing really major going on. I'm just sort of just chilling out. Uh, as you can see, the Boston Breach CDL camo finally came out. I'm excited to. I'm been really excited to use these since I've had them. I've been having fun using them. But today's video topic is going to be about the Arma Gira 43. You saw me use it a little bit in Warzone, and I actually ended up using it a little bit more in Warzone Re Rebirth. Um, this is the build we have right now. Um, yeah, it's actually a really... Oh, I think my game just... Nope, it didn't. Never mind. It's actually a really fun uh, SMG. It's very much a pocket, like... I, this is like a very good sniper support weapon or like something for very good close range. I almost compare it to like the Spitfire from uh, BO4 or like the, uh, I'm trying to think of like other weapons. Um, the Spitfire from BO4 or like the uh, Scorpion from BO2 or the Vesper from BO3, just to name some examples. Um, I'm going to be playing some small map mayhem, uh, because I would do hardcore, but I haven't, I've been using a little bit of hardcore already, and it's very just point and click adventure game good, so I'm going to play some core on some small map mayhem, which I believe is just a bunch of small maps uh, with TDM and tactical. Um, so yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm leveling up Isabella here. And her well gun. Uh, and just to sort of show off that I do have the um, Boston Breach stuff. Yep, Boston Breach home, Boston Breach away. It's not loading. Home. Away. Such a great looking skin. I know people say, oh, it looks like the optic skin, but it's like just got a big old B on it. Listen, it's Boston. <laughs> I am a Massachusetts native. I don't have it equipped uh, on me, like on my characters right now. But whenever I'm going to play uh, characters that aren't new. Because after I'm done with Isabella, I'm going to solely focus on using uh, characters to help level up a gun that I'm using. Um, so for example, I'm going to probably switch back to Paulina and use her to level up the three-line rifle. Um, in fact, I'm, after this game, I might switch to Pauline and, and do that, so that way I can level up the three line. Uh, we got Das House. Ooh. Yeah, this thing is still very, very good. They did fix the aim assist, like, weird aim assist issues that, we ha that we've had. But I'm still a bit rusty. I've been, I'm playing a lot of, uh, not- Odd recently, like uh, Nintendo games, stuff like that. Um, it is very, very. It has a lot of recoil and only a like twenty rounds, but I think you can crank the round count up decently high. But it's a very much just a very fast firing, like. This I don't know how to pe how people do the rip rip. Fast rate of fire SMG noises like Shroud did with an old 9mm SOG blackout clip. But I actually more compared to the 9mm SOG over the Vesper. Now that I think about it. It's very nice hip fire and very nice just rush in, get a blast somebody with it, and then run out. It's good in Warzone. It's really consistent in Warzone. That's one thing I will say. It's very consistent. We have double XP, weapon XP going on right now, so... We're gonna pop on that stock, which is sprint fire speed and movement speed. I'll take that. It's a flight of hand for the reload. I'm not using an optic right now because I kind of like the irons. They're not bad irons. Ah, nuts. We got a barrel, though. Aimed out sight speed, yeah. I'm gonna lose some recoil control there, but... 
should be fine. Oh my god, it's just a, it's just a like little this, I can see myself using this thing as like a sniper support or like an AR support weapon. Like have like an AR like a mid rate mid to long range AR and then have this thing in my back pocket with like a big magazine just We actually got the 60 round a 60 round magazine for it. Yeah, oh my god, you can get 8mm curves, 99mm. You get 75 rounds in this thing with 8mm max. It isn't bad. 60, 9 mil if you don't want to have your damage and rate of fire hit, but. That's not bad. Damn it. You know me, I love running around with SMGs, so an SMG like this is really, really cool. I like my bu bullet hose SMGs, like P90s, PW, the P90-esque weapon I always love, but I like big magazine-sized guns too, so like the Thompson, it's the main reason why I'm not doing, I'm doing that one last, because it is the P90 of the game, in my opinion, because it's got a big magazine. Yeah, you can see the Boston Breach logo I have on the side there. If I reload it again. Oh, no. Um, but I also have a Mikasa little thing on there. But, um... And we we'll do have some news that I don't want to necessarily share right now. But just know that, um... I actually might be doing a vlog of something upcoming here soon. Don't... I don't want to promise nothing, but I will have... Um... A video on it. If it, uh, as long as things work out and nothing nothing comes up but I will probably have a at least a video talking about it and with pictures and stuff follow me over on Twitter for updates and stuff like that again it's the best place to contact me outside of YouTube but <laughs> but yeah, I will have a. I basically will say this. Follow me over on Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a like because yeah, it helps way more than you'd expect. I stuck somebody. We. All right, let me sit up. I'm not fully sitting down. I'm like half like lean back. I lean back. This is a fun SMG, though. I'll let you know what the... I definitely want to use this thing Pack-a-Punch. I usually don't do zombies for these, but this might be the first time I do it, because I love these rapid-fire SMGs. I know you don't get points the same way in zombies, but this would be like kind of a gun I use in zombies. High rate of fire, low damage. Just right into a horde of zombies. Like, my, my favorite gun in Zombies, for points, will, has always been the PW. Because <laughs> it's decent. Because it's, like, decent enough, and it does some killing power, but also it's really good for points. But the main thing... Is... Um, I will be playing some Overwatch soon, um, uh, again, for the first time in a while. Uh, I played it a little bit as, like, test recording stuff, trying to uh, see if I can fix a couple issues and do some other things. But, yeah, I plan on doing some Overwatch of the new Anniversary Remix event, which, I say it's new, it's a reskin of an old event, but they're doing something different with the skins, where not only are you have access to the old skins like you used to, 
They also are doing recolors of old legendary skins. So, for example, there is what I'm calling Xbox Reinhardt, um, which is his, like, demon-like skin that makes it, like, the black and red skin that has, like, a open chest, kind of like the um, Halifier Heart chest piece if you play Destiny. There's that one, but instead of it being black and red, it's green and white. So it's very much like an Xbox Series S color scheme. Um, or like a Boston Breach color scheme. Um, they also have a white and blue Cthulhu Zenyatta. They have a white Witch Mercy skin, which I'm going to grab because I'm a support main. I prefer to play Mercy more than anything. And the last one was they reskinned Oni Genji, and I believe they did a reskin of Reaper. One of Reaper's, like. Um, Oni Reaper, they had the. Um, reskin of one of, like, his, uh, I think, Nevermore skin. That makes him, like, more whitish. And then. Um, I believe they did, either, I think it's either Cat Girl, I think it's Cat Girl Diva, they made a, a different color scheme. But, yeah, I'll be doing, uh, I probably, it might be a stream, I don't know, I can't promise nothing, because I've been doing a lot of, uh, secret project stuff, that all will be revealed soon. Uh, and both for, just in general, all will be, will be revealed soon, and a couple of surprises down the road. But, um, yeah, uh, I've been doing a lot of that as well as, I've just not been really playing and wanting to have the, the motivation to stream. But, um, hopefully soon, or rather than later, I will be streaming again. Especially with my job getting a little bit harder to make money. You got uh, streaming and having you guys come out and support will mean way more to me, whether it's through money or just watching. So, oh, okay. Nice little 42 game, 42 kills. That wasn't bad. I was talking, so it's like it's not really that bad. You, you'll know if I ever get a really high kill game if I'm not talking. Like, um, one thing I will always say is if I'm ever streaming and I go quiet and I start popping off and I'm only like talking when I'm reading the chat, that's when you know I'm doing having a good day when it comes to kills. I've been having a rough day, de uh, COD wise, and I'm probably gonna hop on to Destiny after this because I'm kind of bored. Um, so. I kind of burn myself on Destiny, like, really, really quickly. So it's like, I want to try and help people as well as... Destiny's kind of sat been soured for me ever since the day one raid race, so... But yeah, I hopefully... Um, let me quickly open up OBS because I minimized it temporarily. 13 minutes. I'm going to leave this one here. I know it's kind of short. Um, I know, and I feel bad. But hopefully you guys are having a nice day. I know today is April Fool's Day. I have no plans to do any pranks. I don't, I usually do some sort of little special video, whether it's a short or something like that. I'm not going to do that this year. I'm not in the mood. Especially after getting some annoying mail that involves adult stuff today. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are having an, a nice Friday. And hopefully you guys are going to have a, have a nice weekend too. Uh, because I know everyone has their own things that everyone's doing on the weekend, so yeah. Hopefully you guys do enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video live I'm gonna make. Have a good day buddy, stay safe and uh Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and continue my atomic grind because I'm almost done. I should uh, well I'm not done. I'm not even almost done. But it's like I just got the Owen done and I wanna work on the automaton. I met level sixty nine eight, almost sixty nine. And then I think I wanna work on a handgun and the Panzerfaust here. So yeah. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everybody, and stay safe.